dynamics. Um, to me, dynamic playing is, is probably the most important part of playing in any instrument and performing music. Um, I love using lots of dynamics. And I use it in, in many different ways. I don't just use dynamics in terms of this section of the song is going to be loud, this next section is going to be quieter. That's one way. But the way I use it is, is kind of constant dynamic. Um, for example, if I'm playing a song, uh, a lot of my fills, are then they're not always at the same level. They may start off quieter. Uh, often when I go around the toms, I actually make a little crescendo. Uh, or if I'm going around doing a transition to a quieter part of the song, I may make a decrescendo. These little parts of, or these little bits of dynamics are so important. They really add to the fluidity of, a, of playing a song. I think it's very, very important. Um, over the last few years, I've really concentrated on trying to play very intensely, but quieter. Um, for, I probably play, in some cases, half the level I used to play at. Um, it's also part of getting old and <laughs> trying to save the ears. Um, but it also makes the music breathe. Uh, it gives you further to go, and then when you really want to explode and play loudly, then you've got it. You've got a huge dynamic range. So now it's kind of hard to uh, demonstrate. Um, one thing I would say is that playing a wide range of music from straight ahead jazz to heavy metal, let's say, um, there are certain changes I would make. Most of the time, I play with these sticks. And I can get pretty quiet with these. But if it's a very quiet environment and more of an acoustic environment, maybe with an acoustic piano, maybe with an upright bass, no matter how quietly you're playing with this, this round tip, the cymbal, especially the ride cymbal, is always gonna sound a little crass. Now, I'm gonna try and demonstrate this. And I can't demonstrate this because I don't have the right sticks with me. <laughs> We're gonna have to make a, a little edit there. Can we do that? So uh, we had to just go and uh, grab the right sticks here. So. With these round tips, no matter how quiet I play, it's still going to produce a certain type of sound, especially on the ride cymbal, like this. Now, by changing the stick and the different bead, I get a different sound. It's quieter, and it's a sweeter sound. So in a quieter environment, that really makes a big difference. In a louder environment, usually when there's a guitarist present, <laughs> it's just the nature, uh, you won't even notice the difference. It, it's all relative, and this will sound just as sweet. But bring your level down, this makes a big difference. So that's something I do do if I'm playing real quiet, and if it's a little bit more straight ahead jazz, then it will be sweeter with these sticks. Then we can get to the loud sticks.
Dynamics.